Hi guys, this is Jasmine with Everlast Welders. Today we're going to go ahead and weld some stainless with the Power Pro 164. One of the big problems that I as a beginner into welding noticed and I've seen a lot of people notice as well is um, distortion of stainless. Stainless is a very hard material to work with um, and a lot of times very unpredictable. So today we're going to try to go ahead and minimize that distortion. We're going to go ahead and give some tips on what we can do to help it be to a very minimum rather than it just distorting completely. So I am going to be running it at 75 amps. So we're going to have that pull setting turned off. Um, we will have our remote at 2T pedal. I am using the Nova wireless pedal today. Uh, we have it set at DC and as well as TIG. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure this is perfectly squared. We're going to go ahead and tack it. And then we'll see kind of what the tacks do to it on both ends. As you can see, just with those tacks, um, our straightness and squareness has already began to go. And this is of course due to the heat that we're putting on that side. So we're gonna go ahead and weld in and see how much worse this distortion of stainless gets. I went ahead and tacked both sides of this weld and I went ahead and welded it out. As you can see, we have a big gap and the more it goes up, the more big the gap gets. We also have some warpage and distortion going on with our bottom plate. As you can see, it's kind of sitting bowed towards where the middle plate is sitting. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of tips and tricks so that we can minimize this type of warpage and type of distortion that we have going on. Uh, let's go ahead and give those a try. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, place my tacks in a, in a way where the heat can be distributed uh, appropriately. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack on this side and th on this edge and on the opposite side on the opposite edge. All right, so just right off the back, you can already see I tacked this end and I tacked the opposite end over here. And you can see that just by putting that same amount of heat for the metal to pull one way, but then when you apply the heat on this side, it'll try to pull back. It already straightened the metal compared to what we did earlier. All right, so now that we have all of our tacks set on both opposite sides, um, when we place them, we're gonna go ahead and seam a weld right on the edge. Let's go ahead and see if that keeps our straightness. Alrighty, so as you can see, um, this, this is the weld that we had placed four tacks on, each side, opposite side. We went ahead and welded a seam on the left side. Um, and as you can see, it stayed pretty straight. This is all because we're able to maintain the straightness due to the tacks that we were placing on the opposite ends. Um, on this side, as you can see, we still have that distortion with that one weld and tacks. All right, you guys, so that is a couple of tips and tricks on how to go about keeping your stainless straight, how to keep it from bowing. Of course, this is always gonna happen, um, but how we can avoid it is always gonna help us. For example, make sure you're clamping your stuff to your table, make sure your tacks are in opposite ends. Uh, if you see your welds already bowing to one side, try to go ahead and share that heat distribution with the opposite side and hopefully we can minimize any distortion with uh, stainless. I'm Jasmine, Black Widow Welder on Instagram and remember to weld mean, weld green.